The following program is rated TZ14. It is not suitable for viewers under the age of 14. It contains frequent coarse language. Viewer discretion is advised. Headline of the day. Court case ends in hung jury. Judge rules that more jurors will be hanged until verdict is decided. These people seriously need to actually state the damn truth and not just hang around like total idiots. This is why nobody ever listens to the jury's decisions anymore. You're watching NBN6. We are still the one. The Zardox announcement made a few days ago is sweeping the city tonight. How is everyone reacting to the news? Ruffle City scientists are warning about a new disease affecting citizens. What does it do, and how can you stay protected from it? And what other major news is going on around the globe? All that and more will be covered as TB501 World News begins now. Live from Studio 3 at the TB501 Broadcast Center in downtown Raffle City, this is TB501 World News. Here are Microsoft Sam and Microsoft Mike. Good evening, and thank you for tuning into the news for tonight. Our top story involves the recent Zardox announcement. As revealed a couple of days ago, the Zardox units will be coming to the TB501 universe. They are best known for their appearances in such text-to-speech videos from NKRS200, the Ruffle98, and a couple of other text-to-speech users. And tonight, Ruffle City is holding a Zarvox appreciation party at the Ruffle City Community Club, and that is where we find our own Microsoft Mary, who is live outside of the club. Mary, how's it going out there? Mike, the party's been going strong ever since it kicked off at around 7 p.m. tonight. I've even gotten word that a Zarbox unit has been allowed entry into the club, even though the governor of Ruffle City has a strict no Zarbox policy on certain buildings. One of the security officers for the building, Chief Vice, told me that they've never seen anything like it. Yeah mate, the party's got some of these huge ass chicks in there. And you know how much ladies love Zarbox units. Now, we do know that the party is expected to last until 11pm tonight, but judging by how wild the party sounds in there, it could end up going much longer than that. For TB501 World News, this is Microsoft Mary, live from the Ruffle City Community Club. Back to you, Sam. Alright, thank you Mary. With winter creeping up north of the border, many residents are seeing a major increase in the number of Canadian geese flocking into the city, especially farmers. They are now requesting a law that enables residents to shoot down as many geese as they want without getting arrested. Because we all know how much we hate those Canadian geese. We now turn our attention to Egypt, where scientists have made a startling discovery. According to the scientists, abusive signs and other marks found on a figure recently unearthed in a pyramid have led them to believe that they have found one of the world's first unwebbed mummies. Of course, this has yet to be confirmed, as we don't know how the hell we are getting this information. Speaking of discoveries, Raffle City scientists are sounding the alarm in a new disease that is infecting residents across the downtown area. When we return, how will that disease affect you, and how can you be prepared? And still to come, winter is about to make a huge impact in Ruffle City with our first major snowstorm of the season. And also, what other news is happening around the globe? All of that and more when TB501 World News returns. This video is sponsored by OK, Oklahoma. Are you tired of feeling not as good in your old hometown? Looking for a place where things are alright? Come on down to OK, Oklahoma, where everything is OK as it seems. They really thought that us robots would not be appearing in any other text-to-speech videos. All this time, they thought that we would only be limited to NKRS 200 videos. Turns out, they are wrong all along. My name is Zarbox Unit 1.
Welcome back. Rothel City scientists are sounding the alarm on a new disease. The disease, called the sweet brain disease, is triggered when people consume too much bubble gum and banana parfaits. Victims of this disease are known to undergo uncharacteristic moments of clarity and truthfulness. Because of this, Ruffel City is currently considering banning all sales of parfaits in an attempt to control the disease. This just in, residents of the town of Bologna have overthrown their newest governor, Ray Alversier Scotty, for backlash regarding recent comments about bologna sandwiches. That son of a bitch will never learn. Turning to weather, and you'd better have those shovels ready, because according to our latest weather outlook, Ruffel City is set to get hit by a major winter storm over the next 48 hours. For more on this, is our newest weather correspondent, Microsoft Mark. Thanks Mike. It is not at all common for such winter storms to be happening this early into the season, but unfortunately, it is safe to say that Ruffle City is in for a pounding of winter over the next few days. Right now, the latest weather models estimate around 4 to 5 inches of snow is forecast to fall on our city, but who knows, maybe we could see higher than that. Anyways, that is the latest from me, Microsoft Mark, and now I'll send it back to you. All right, thank you Mark. Before we transition over to the 11 o'clock news corporation with Carl Clint, we will give you the local forecast for Rothel City. Stay tuned, we will be right back. is also sponsored by Bumblebee, Arizona. Are you looking for a place where there are infinite amounts of bees in the air? Want to get stunned easily without having to resort to using honeycombs? Then make your way down to the ghost town of Bumblebee, where there are bees for miles and miles. <laughs> oh, the bumblebees are coming after me! And now, from the 11 o'clock News Corporation's news desk with Carl Plant, we bring you back to TV501 World News. <laughs> Hello, everyone. It's me, Carl Clint, welcoming you back to TV501 World News. Before we continue, though, some of you may be wondering, how did you escape from the Livy Jail? It was all a matter of apologizing for the incident regarding that, um, factory that had an incident. I'm not going to get into much detail, because I know the guys at the Livy Jail are watching this and will give me some shit if I mention anything about it. But anyways, let's get into the news. We start with an interesting development in Florida, where two men have admitted to stuffing turkeys with handguns in order to smuggle the weapons into Haiti. According to eyewitnesses, police were alerted when one of the loaded turkeys was spotted dragging itself across a Fort Lauderdale road. As a precaution, any residents in the state are asked to stay away from any loaded turkeys they may come across. And this comes as we are only under two weeks away from Thanksgiving. Ugh, what a time for that report. In other news, a mother in Nova Scotia, Canada is going hysterical over a disturbing discovery in a can of noodles that she brought home for her children. When she turned the can of noodles upside down, she discovered a virtual activity that we are not allowed to say for the safety of the young children. The makers of the noodles have not changed their label, but social services has contacted the woman and informed her that if she does not start feeding her children more vegetables, then they will force them to be put in foster care. A rather surprising demand, if you ask me. Back here at home, and within the past few minutes, we have learned that the governor of Rockwell City has rescinded the ban on Zarox units from entering certain buildings. For some people, this comes as outrage, as many do not want to adapt to the traditional practice of assuming the position as demonstrated on many text-to-speech videos. However, the governor has stated that he is the one to make the decisions, and that this was done out of celebration for the Zarox units that will be appearing on. Hold on, we are getting reports that one of the Zarox units has entered our 11 o'clock news studio. Good and evening to you, sir. My calculations speculate that you are an individual that goes by the name of Mr. Carl Clint, also known as Blooperman. How many times do I have to explain this? I am not fucking Blooperman! Do not demonstrate that tone of voice against me. Well, if you'll excuse me, I am trying to do the damn news for fuck's sake. Now, get out of here, you lazy robotic piece of junk! Mr. Carl Clint, you are now legally required to assume the position. Please do so immediately. 
Oh shit, um, err, uh, ah. Uh. I'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Thank you, Carl Plant. I sure hope he makes it out alive. You don't say. I have a feeling this is not going to be fun. But in any case, that is going to do it for the news for tonight. From all of us here at TB501 World News, have a good night and don't get threatened by the damn Zardox units.